And this fight, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. We got Julian Marquez versus Zachary Reese. And Marquez trained with the MMA lab for this one now. So he always is jumping around camps, but you know they're going to have him in great shape. And he definitely looks uh, like he uh, is coming in ripped, ready to go. And Zach Reese kind of had that terrible UFC debut, came in as a big favorite, got slam KO'd by Cody Brundage in a quick fight. And um, stock has dropped pretty significantly now where he's gone from a significant favorite in his debut in the UFC to now an underdog in his second UFC fight to a guy that's on a losing streak in Julian Marquez and a little bit older in his career. So Marquez coming back after a layoff, he took a couple of knockout losses, decided to take some time off, and now he's back. Um, not the oldest guy, but he just... He's been in the UFC for a long time and just has never really gotten going injuries and not really putting on big performances back to back and things like that have just cost him. But he's shown that he can stick around and be a decent enough fighter. So it's a good tester. It's like a fringe, lower level, but decent UFC guy taking on Zach Reese, who we really know nothing about, man. I mean, I don't know how anyone could be betting Zach Reese or confident in Zach Reese unless you're in the gym or know something about him because at the end of the day we barely seen him fight you know he's fought like two minute fights in all of his fights and um ran through guys we haven't seen his striking and I didn't really like it how he was reacting in the stand-up against Cody Brundage um so I don't know it's just to be determined with Zach Reese we don't know how his cardio is gonna look we don't know much of anything uh, with Reese, whereas with Marquez, at least we know he has a good chin, decent striking, he can go 15 minutes, um, he can come back from behind, but Reese, you know, the guy is dangerous, obviously he's finished a lot of fights quick, he'll sit down and throw bombs with you, he has a good, decent submission game, but I think Marquez has to be the prediction, you know, he's fought way better opponents, I think that if he can keep it standing, he'll probably be able to eventually find that knockout over Reese with the experience advantage. And um, it's just hard to pick Reese with what limited information we know. His last fight. And uh, yeah, so I think it's a total pass because Zach Reese, it's like he could come in here and just steamroll Marquez. It could look like a horrible bet. But Marquez, I feel like, should get the job done based off what we know right now. So I'll get Marquez to win via... Late first round KOTKO or second round KOTKO?